Here we go then, boys and girls, coming to the end of our first full season in Turkey. And we're top of the league and in with a real chance. We are going to finish that season now and hopefully get, get promoted. Getting promoted would be super. That's, that's definitely the plan. And there we have it. If you are not caught up via Lelujo 2, you should be. The video came out on Friday. You've had loads of time to get caught up. Um, but this is the situation. So it's season two of the save. First full season, though, because we joined halfway through last season with Ankara, Dermis, Damir Sport. I still don't know how to say the second part. But we were down in the relegation zone when I joined. We ended up finishing mid-table last year. Completely rebuilt the team over the summer. And as you can see, doing all right now. We're in quite good form as well. Um, we've got that number of games left. I'll let you count them. And we're three points clear at the top of the league. We obviously want to avoid the playoffs because playoffs are nightmarish. But we are doing all right. I'm out. I'm never buying tea from Starbucks. Exactly. See, even Alfie sees sense on this one. And Alfie doesn't even eat animals. So he basically doesn't get a vote when it comes to what's better. But he even he knows coffee's better than tea. Chai tea is pretty good, yeah? Chai tea's caffeine free, isn't it? So I've had a little bit of chai tea. Uh, Devil, thank you very much for the prime. Yeah, you've never seen any version of the real me on the internet. Vlog, vlog Kev, Twitch Kev, YouTube Kev, they're all an act. Real Kev doesn't really say anything. Stop noticing the game. I know. We were 2-0 up, and then I started talking about the game, and now we're not 2-0 up anymore. I started making changes in things. I've ruined everything. We are 12 and beaten, though, so that's quite good, isn't it? Although we have drawn three of our last five. So I'm going to pretend that's not the start of a problem and just continue enjoying being top of the league. We're actually further clear at the top of the league than we were before that match. I haven't heard anything from SI. I mean, last I heard they were working on it, but I'm not expecting an answer this year in response to them working on it. They're sports interactive. And they're quite busy making FM25 now. I don't think they're going to be rushing around just to make a version that fixes a problem that me and a few other people are having. If it was happening to everyone, I imagine they'd have a little bit more urgency. It's going to be quite a short video. It's going to be me saying that. If you've got a big guy who's good in the air, just use the preset ones. Don't fiddle with anything at all. And then watch them get 15 to 20 goals a, a season. Because we've now done it with Cullen and Liebird. We've done it with Branthwaite. I'll just pick another big guy and do it with them as well. And just continue to prove that, yeah, you, if you've got the right player, the preset ones are super duper effective and will get you well into double figures on that player. It's, uh, and I did three seasons in that time. So, uh, yeah, it was quite a busy day on Friday. Oh! Football goal. You even rushed the podcast for it. I mean, up until 7... We record at 8 on Fridays for the podcast. It was only at 7.45 that I said I was going to do the podcast. I'd let them know earlier in the day I wasn't going to be on because I wasn't going to have time to be on. Uh, but it got to 7.45 and I just needed to play through that last transfer window which I could do whilst doing the podcast. And then as soon as the podcast was done, I recorded the last couple of clips and slammed it all together. How did I manage to get in more debt? What, in the Everton video? I don't know, because I was so well behaved on the transfers. It's obviously just Everton are a mess. I mean, doing a little bit more reading about why they got the points deduction, it all relates back to issues around the interest payments on the loan they took out for the stadium. So they owe, they owe an enormous amount of money for the stadium they're building. They owe an enormous amount of money to their owner. So they are in a complete financial mess in real life. So without spoiling that video too much, even with doing what we did in the video and being very well behaved and relatively successful, even that wasn't enough to... All it did was slow down the hemorrhaging of money. It didn't didn't improve the financial situation at all. Right. Let's win another football match.
Oh, look at us. Look at us. We're so good at football. Uh, going to have a nose hair wax at the barbers. I don't have a nose hair wax. I have just about everything else. They set my ears on fire, but they'll trim my beard nicely. Do I have a bruised banana football Arsenal shirt? It's somewhere in my dad's house. Yes. From when I was a kid, it would be in a child's size. Am I watching I'm a Celeb tonight? No, I'm a 41 year old man. I've never watched I'm a Celeb because it sounds like Probably the worst TV show that was ever conceived. Surely I'd enjoy the trials. I don't know, because I've never watched it. Isn't that the one where they eat snakes and stuff? I don't want to eat a snake. I don't particularly want to see someone else eat a snake. So, all in all, don't think it's for me. Not from the UK, why is the ITV bad? Because it appeals to people who put live, laugh, love on their living room wall. People who like Amanda Holden. Um, just horrible, awful, middle-class mums, i.e. the worst people in the world. They love all that. And it tailors specifically to those people. If you're an ITV person, I'm sorry, we probably wouldn't get on in real life. People who whose entire personality is their kids, Prosecco, gin, signs from the range. Just, oh, God. Can't stand them. I will hijack. I need to stop upsetting people. But there's someone sat there watching. He's describing my wife. What's wrong with my wife? Gordon Bennett. <laughs> oh yikes! Look at us doing football. That's good, isn't it? Well, I don't even don't even know who I'm kidding. There's no way the husbands of those kind of women are allowed to watch Twitch. So I've got absolutely nothing to fear. They have to sit on the sofa holding hands with their wife so they can watch I'm a Celeb together and get really into it, drinking their Prosecco. And actually, who am I kidding? It's Sunday night. They're probably tweeting about how awful Mondays are. Oh, back to work. Sorry. Can't wait for my holly bobs. How many, how many weeks till Christmas is it? Probably got to do some wrapping. God, I hate them. I hate them. Oh. <laughs> oh my word. In unrelated news, I am a divorced man. So the type that say you don't have to be crazy to work here, but it sure helps. Exactly. Work smarter, not harder. When did you meet my mum? Because you described her to a T. Oh, probably in the range. How's it already November? This year's flown by. Oh God. It's getting dark early, isn't it? Oh, what? <laughs> I've got to stop. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, I'm making myself cry with anger. My feelings are leaking out of me in liquid form, and I need to stop it. Oh, doesn't it feel like a Wednesday? I like they'd call it a Wednesday. It's hump day, and you know it. And uh, they're going to reward themselves with a cheeky Chinese. There might be one or two subsections of society I haven't upset yet, Kev. Honestly... If any of if any of what I've said in the last ten minutes has upset anyone, please just don't ever watch my stuff again. It's not, it promise you, it's not for you. For the summer, I went to a posh farm shop cafe, and that was ninety percent of the customers. Oh my word! Were they all wearing scarves but no coats? Oh. What are you wearing that scarf for? You? That's not going to keep you warm if you're not wearing a coat, you moron! Oh. Oh, Sharon, this is my song. No, it's not. It's Mr. Brightside. And we've all heard it a million times. Yes, it's fine, but it's not your song, is it? Oh, if I'm slightly older. Oh, smells like teen spirit. No Nirvana bashing. It's not Nirvana bashing. But if anyone's favourite song is Smells Like Teen Spirit, that means it's the only Nirvana song they've ever heard. Oh, you lot have upset me. Who started me on that? That was uncalled for. Oh, what a goal. Look at us. We are cruising. Let's do another goal, shall we? There we go, look. There we go. Sorry, Mr. Ramp was just filling up my Prosecco glass. Not just for Prosecco either. You put a strawberry in it, didn't you? 
I communicate with the players entirely using a football and signs purchased in the range. Cheer up, Muka. It's gin o'clock. I, I, I didn't. I don't use a generic sign like that with my strikers. I get one of those cork boards that has pound coin signs signs holes in where you're supposed to there we go there's the glitch that you're supposed to put a pound in for every pound you lose so when you've filled the board you've lost two stone and you can go and buy a load of gin but i put a pound in every time he scores a goal i don't remember quotes i don't remember uh don't remember scenes from movies i don't remember lines from tv shows that is very interesting um and i don't remember specific goals necessarily um that's a very weird transfer that's happened there. They've signed him for 62 million and then immediately sold him. No, he signed for Real Madrid in July. And then three weeks later, they'd sold him for 11.75 million. It's a release clause bug. Wow. Right, there you go. We can win the title here. Let's motivate them. Be motivated, boys. They're agreeable. That's all we ever want. We love agreeable footballers. Right. So if we win, obviously we win the league. If we draw and they don't win, we'll also win the league. But the key thing is let's just win. Let's win the match. Win the match. Win the league. Easy peasy. Why is that stadium so big? There are some stadiums at this level that are huge. Um, but it's huge for this level, and it, the game doesn't seem to render them very well. If this is the one we were in last year and had to look up, it's actually only like a 15,000 capacity. It just looks massive. That's got to be more than 15,000. It looks like Wembley. Why are my match highlights so laggy? I don't think they are. Maybe it's your internet connection. We need to try and sign second permanently. He's been great. A goal a game striker at this level. What a wonderful thing. Who's he on loan from? He's only 20. We might be able to try and nick him permanently. That would be ideal. Is there anybody here? Are they all in the top tier? There is nobody here. There's one guy next to the tunnel, is there? You sure that's not the manager? Oh, right. There is nobody in this stadium. Right. Does the game think there's somebody here or does it think that there's nobody here at all? So if we go to match stats, apparently there's 356 people supposed to be in here somewhere. Any sign of them anywhere? We should do all of the uh, all of our videos from this angle. You wanted dots? I'll give you dots. This is basically dots. Oh, what a goal! And we saw it from the blimp! It was a blimp goal! Let's look at it from the non-blimp view. What a wallop. It's the same guy who did the Wembley attendance for AEW has done the attendance for this today. Maybe we've just decided we want to win the title at home, which is why we're being all bottly in this match. Right, do a save. Come on. Yeah. And offer some encouragement. I mean, as it stands at the moment, we're going to lose and still win the league because we're 11 points clear with three games to go. So the other team, the team in second must be losing as well. Good old football manager. There you go, look. On the overlap. No, we've got, in, we've got inside to, to this fella. It's a penalty kick. Come on, then. Outside of Dr. Ben, most FM YouTubers don't hit over 500k on the most popular videos. He was just the first to do the thousand years in the future thing, wasn't he? And it was so long ago that it's just accumulated views over a long amount of time. I imagine there'll be uh, there'll be plenty of videos who reach that kind of level. It's just that one video, isn't it, for him, I think, if I recall. Like, I've not checked for a while. Back when I used to care about that kind of thing, I would have known surprised adam lafondra doesn't have a twitch i think he did during the pandemic here we go title winning goal come on then hey we do the crowd's gone wild look at these these three guys here they're loving it 
see if FM twenty five is just this close up, I think we'd be happy with that as graphics, wouldn't we? But then you'd zoom out anyway, so it'd still look the same as it does now. It just seems when you zoom out a bit, it blurs off a little bit. But I think if it was that kind of graphics, I think we'd be happy. But here we have our trophy lift, boys and girls. Yeah! No one knows where the confetti's coming from, but there's plenty of it. Wonderful stuff. Right, here we go then. End of season review. What a beautiful trophy look. Lovely old stuff. Like signing of the season, Halil. I mean, I can go with that. That seems to work. We were supposed to finish. We were supposed to avoid relegation and we've won the league easily as well. It wasn't even close. We've smashed the league. Cue the uh, football manager's too easy comments. Um, money is a problem. We are hemorrhaging the stuff and that's our team of the year. Which, remember, a lot of these boys are loans. So we've got a lot of loans and a lot of players who are out of contract at the end of the season. So... I am inclined to let most of them leave. Which I know upset people in the non league to legend transfer window when I let most of them leave. But all these guys who are like 28 plus with two and a half star current ability, two and a half star potential ability, I honestly don't care how good they've been up until this point. He is not making the step up to the next league. I don't need to give him a... I've played enough football manager over the years to know that a guy who's 30 years old with two and a half stars of potential and averaged a 6.8 in this league is not going to make the step up, so we can just let him go. So almost everybody who is out of contract, which is everyone, apart from that 36-year-old goalkeeper and Batuhan, our best player, they're the only ones who are under contract, so... I mean, all of the guys with potential are on loan. We could look at someone like Ali Kilik and be like, oh, maybe as a backup striker for the right price, maybe we keep him, but he's very expensive. He's probably the highest paid player at the club or one of. He's certainly not highest paid player at the club quality. So I think we're probably going to let almost everybody leave. And then rebuild from nothing. Um, the board would like us to attempt to avoid getting relegated whilst working towards repairing the club's financial damage, which I would like to point out they've caused. I mean, you've set, you've doubled my budget. You say you want me to work towards solving the uh, the financial problem, but you've doubled my budget, so I'm going to spend it because I want to stay up. Because I think, I think if we stay up and get more in debt, they'll give me a new contract. If we get less in debt and get relegated, they'll sack me. So they're not really incentivizing me to get out of the debt. Right. Um, we're going to avoid relegation. Yeah, we can stay up. I mean, you are literally the only one who will still be here. I'm glad you think we can stay up. The rest of these clowns will be long gone. Right. So this is our squad for next year. Based on the players who are going to be here. <laughs> um, it's never quite been like this, boys and girls. <laughs> um, and the goalkeeper is 36. I'm probably not going to leave. I'll. We've got to at least try and keep this team up. Did Batman get promoted as well? Because if Batman got promoted as well, we're definitely not going anywhere. Um... Ah, learn the buttons. Um, so Batman lost. No Batman next year, boys and girls, I'm afraid. Right, we're going to this meeting anyway. Hi. Yes, there's lots of contracts expiring. Oh, he's got an extension clause. I think we might trigger that. Interesting. Who the hell are they? Oh, yes, we'll have this. As you know, boys and girls, I'm a big fan of Glenkberibligi. They're still an anchor. We don't have to move very far. 
So they've just been relegated into the league we've just been promoted into, which obviously means they'll have an infinite amount more money. Um, I'm just going to do an entire career in Turkey, aren't I? No, that's not what I'm looking for. So they have just had a £2 million budget. So even if that budget drops a little bit, they're going to have... They're going to have one of the highest budgets in this league next year. So it's going to be around the two million mark, whereas ours is going to be around the half a million mark. So we're going to have, yeah, we're obviously going to that interview. Obviously, we're going to that interview. Hi, Fatty. That it's your name. If you've got a Triple H moustache, that's amazing. How would I overcome the relatively big obstacle of not speaking the language? I mean, as we both live in the same city and I've lived here for some time and just got a promotion here, clearly it's not a problem. But I'll say to you what I said to my man Cameron. Um, football is something of a universal language. Am I able to ease my worries about losing the backing of your players and the subsequent airing of laundry in public? Did that happen? I don't remember that happening. Did we ever have a problem with players? Did that make the local sports pages? Ah. That did happen. I do remember that happening. I do remember sacking a lot of players. There are no problems with the dressing room atmosphere if I get the job. Are you willing to assure us you'd do a better job of meeting expectations than our potential? Your potential predecessor did. Um, I've got a good record when it comes to meeting expectations. You'd be potentially replacing someone who did not enjoy a good relationship with our fans. Could I do better? Yeah, in my experience, having someone move to a different job in the same city always goes down well with the locals. So I imagine they'll love me. Um, let's say that. We don't want a repeat of our last manager who we had to put company with early and expected. Am I going to be around for a while? If you don't sack me, I'll be here for ages. Depends how much of a contract you give me, Fatty. I do have a proven track record of spending a considerable amount of time. Blah, blah, blah. We need a manager who can work with limited resources. Is that me? I mean, we've got literally no money. Where we... I'm earning uh, so little that I have to sweep the floors at the barbers to pay the bills. So, yes. I'll do the right thing with the club's money. I mean, actually, Fatty, while you're here, I did just tweet something out in which it was clear that I am something of a financial genius. So you'll be fine. How would I feel about working with our current director of football, Songul Arin? He'd need a haircut. He's 48 years old and still has hair like that. He needs to grow up, but if he can get a haircut, did I mention I work in a barber's? If he wants to come down for a for a trim, I think the kids call it, then he can stick around. What sort of budget are you anticipating needing to put together my backroom team? I don't like people, so I don't need a budget. I'll just stick with who you've got here. You'd be expected to adhere to the club's vision for the future, which is work within the wage budget, don't sign old men on long contracts, repair the club's financial damage. I'm quite the expert at that already and reach the playoffs this year. We can do that. Of course we can do that. We aren't in a position to set any expectations. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Do I have anything to consider? No. Right, well, that that could be quite the twist to end the stream, couldn't it? Because we could end up starting tomorrow night with a whole new club. I can't do a... Um, give me a course! I just solved all your financial problems. We don't believe it would be beneficial for you to undertake a course right now. I disagree, Cameron! You're letting him go on a continental pro. He's my assistant manager. I'm not even allowed a national B, but you'll pay for him to do his continental pro. Inexplicable. It's costing you six grand, Cameron. Get me right, here we go. Balls to you, Cameron. The board would like to hold a meeting in order to discuss your future at the club. We understand there's interest from other clubs. Yeah, there is, Cameron. Wouldn't it have been nice if you'd have sent me on that course? Let's just see how much they're offering me. Oh, Cameron. Oh, Cameron, I'm so I'm so gone. I'll come and have the chat with you. But I I mean, I am 
I am already, there is a kev shaped hole in the door where I've already exploded out of here. So, I mean, I'm going to come to the meeting, but, oh, Cameron. We'd appreciate if you'd consider join if you would be willing to reconsider joining another club and stay here instead. We'd be willing to discuss making it worth your while. I'll have a coaching course and a massive contract, please. If I click that, is he going to offer me two hundred and seventy-five pounds a week and auto withdraw me from the other job? Because this could be a problem. Ah. Oh. It does auto withdraw. Right. I've got no intention of changing my mind. I think my time here has come to an end. We're just going to do that just to be safe. Because I think I've been down this road before. Oh, wow. So I resigned? No. 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 That's a bug, yeah? Because obviously I wanted that job. Right, when's the last save point? Right, we saved at 21.59. So, I mean, I don't care. That's a bug. So it resigned me and didn't then give me the new job. It auto withdrew me. That's so broken. So broken. So I can't talk to the existing club. I just have to go to the new one. So yeah, I'm not get, I'm not even gonna press refuse to attend. I'm just gonna accept this one because I don't wanna risk it happening again. Right, can I have some extra money, please? Oh, I can. Magic. So I still have to right, I'm just gonna refuse to attend that. I've already accepted the other job. And there we have it, boys and girls. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. We're moving house. We're moving across the city. And I'm going to learn how to say Gen... Gen... Clara... Gen... Gen... Chlebiri... Mm. Do they have a nickname? We're going to need to learn a nickname. Because that's... Uh, that's going to be a problem. Genchler Burley. Yeah, we're going to have to figure something. Ankara Rosgari. We're just going to continue calling him Ankara and just be like, well, we're just, just, we just changed our kits. We're still in, An still in Ankara. <laughs> um, but that is where we'll pick things up tomorrow night, boys and girls. Let's find somebody to raid. We're not going to look at anything about them for now. I'm just going to save it there and we will pick it up from that point tomorrow.